Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly telescope card reading for Aries for the month of December 2016. I just want to thank everyone for liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. So let's see what December has in store for Aries. Okay, Aries, we got the star card. The star is a card of hope. You may receive some unexpected help. This is going to be an insight, clarity, or a vision. It's an inspirational card of uh, flexibility. Um, great love will be given and received, and this is a card of good health. So it's a great card to have. So you're definitely going to be getting some unexpected help. Uh, your clarity may uh, you may get answers from the high priestess to uh, make a decision on something uh, your insight and clarity of visions will become more clear because the high priestess is one of uh, mystery it's the unconsciousness awareness uh, the secrets will be revealed if you're doing any kind of hysteric studies or trying to more spiritual on some type of spiritual journey you've got questions unanswered questions about uh, about this place we call earth or a different realm um, expect the uh, uh, answers or secrets some type of secrets to be revealed if you've been asking questions to your archangels or your, your guides or or yeah, your gods or goddess, ever who you've been talking to, your intu intuition is going to go great. It's going to grow more and become greater this month. You're um, you become you're going to become more psychic too. This is a great card to have here here for the high priestess. Um, the answers that you're seeking with these two major arcane cards are definitely going to be revealed for you this month. We've also got the Nine of Swords that's um, showing up here. Um, there's going to be some sudden goings and comings of a matter. Could be a quick departure. You see how fast he's just, you know, trotting in on this horse. Um, it could be a quick uh, departure or unexpected arrival. So you may be ex ex getting some visits uh, or a guest that you didn't really expect to see this month. So look out for that. Uh, and with the Nine of Swords, it can manifest itself in three ways as an event or a person in life, or is it going to be a part of yourself? Um, so with an event like I said it could be an unexpected arrival of people that are coming in your life or going quickly and this person is, or if it's representing a person that you know this person is definitely uh, intellectual uh, this person is confident this person has clarity this person makes decisive um, decisions 
So you may know a person like that. This person may also be totally fearless. And this person may never anticipate defeat. That's how much he thinks of himself as invincible. So you may know a person like that. And it could be a part of you, too. Because, uh, like I said, this, it, it usually manifests itself, knights and pages, as um, either way, three ways. An event, a person in your life, or as part of yourself. So, let's look at the Eight of Cups. Here we are recognizing, you're going to be recognizing this month that it's time to move on and move away from difficult times. <coughs> Excuse me. Is the primary thing with the Eight of Cups. Um, so it mainly, the Eight of Cups, it mainly refers to a relationship. And you may feel like you're giving uh, too much of yourself and not getting enough in exchange or in return. It could be a one-sided relationship going on. Um, it's a, this can be a powerful wake up call that cannot be ignored because it's something that you really if you're not happy or it don't satisfy your soul anymore you really don't want to take that into 2017 so you just may be giving up and just walking away from this relationship this month just take a look at your situation and see what can be done to balance things out a little. A little. I mean, this guy, he walked away from these cups that are stacked so neatly. So it was definitely something that he was working on, but he just wasn't being satisfied. You're not being satisfied. You're not giving as much as you're putting in. You've pretty much just had enough and you're walking away. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that it no longer serves you. And it's time to move on and move forward. Because it's def if it's no longer serving you, it's something that you definitely don't want to take with you in 2017. So now is a good time to take a step back. If you can't find any balance, it's time to walk away and move on. Okay, Aries, I hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friend.